In this video, we are going to discuss hybrid parameter and inverse hybrid parameter. First of all, in hybrid parameter, this is a two port network. There will be voltage and current V1 and I1 in the input terminal and V2 and I2 in the output terminal. So totally there are four variables V1 and I1 in the input terminal, V2 and I2 in the output terminal. In two port network, we will use only two variables at a time, dependent and independent. So we are going to find V1, V1 and I2 opposite times okay v1 and i2 v1 and i2 using i1 and i1 and v2 okay so we are going to find v1 and i2 using i1 and v2 in hybrid parameter first of all we can find v1 v1 using i1 and v2 using i1 and v2 plus sign okay so in hybrid parameter the constants are h11 here there is one here there is one so 11 one. then here there is one here there is two so the constant is h12 this is the equation for finding v1 using i1 and v2 now we can find i2 using i1 and v2 using i1 and v2 we can find i2 and the constants are this is hybrid parameter so the constants will be h here there is 2, here there is 1. So this is H21. Here there is 2, here there is 2. So this is H22. This is the equation for finding I2 using I1 and V2. Now we need to find the constants. So constants are H11, H12, H21 and H22. These four constants we need to find. For finding H11. See the equation. Here it is H11. For finding H11, V2 should be 0. For getting V2 as 0, what we need to do? We need to short circuit output. When we short circuit output, V2 will be equal to 0. If V2 is 0, then this term will be 0 and this term will be 0. So the first step is to short circuit output. When we short circuit output, we will get V2 equal to 0. When V2 is 0, this term is 0 and this term is 0. Now, H11 equal to V1 divided by I1. V1 divided by I1. H21 is I2 divided by I1. H21 it is I2 divided by I1. What is the condition? V2 should be equal to 0. So, the condition is V2 should be equal to 0. Now, we need to find H12. Where is H12? Here. For getting H12, this term should be 0. This term should be 0 means I1 should be 0. For getting I1 as 0, what we need to do? We need to open circuit input port. When we open circuit input port, we will get I1 equal to 0. So the second step is to open circuit input port. When we open circuit input port, we will get I1 equal to 0. When I1 is 0, this term is 0 and this term is 0. Therefore, we will get H12 equal to V1 divided by V2. V1 divided by V2. H22 is I2 divided by V2. I2 divided by V2. Now, what is the condition? Condition is I1 should be equal to 0. The condition is I1 should be equal to 0. In inverse hybrid parameter, we are going to find i1 and v2 the opposite times okay i1 and v2 using v1 and i2 using v1 and i2 we are going to find i1 and v2 so first of all we can find i1 i1 using v1 and i2 using v1 and i2 here there is plus sign now in inverse hybrid parameter the constant is g okay now here there is one, here there is one. So this is G11. Here it is one, here it is two. So this is G12. This is the equation for finding I1 using V1 and I2. Now we can find V2. V2 using V1 and I2. 
using V1 and I2. The constant it is G. Here it is 2. Okay, constant it is G. Here it is 2, here it is 1. So this is G21. Here it is 2, here it is 2. So it is G22. This is the equation for finding V2 using V1 and I2. If you are writing this in matrix form, this is I1 and V2, the column matrix, and these are the independent variable that is V1 and I2, the other column matrix. Now the constants are G11, G12, G21, and G22. Now this is inverse hybrid parameter. We already found the hybrid parameter it is h11 h12 h21 and h22 if we can find the hybrid parameter then the inverse of that will be equal to g11 g12 g21 and g22 now we can find the constants g11 g12 g21 and g22 first of all for finding g11 G11 is here. So this term should be 0. This term should be 0 means I2 should be 0. I2 is here. For getting I2 as 0, we need to open circuit output port. So first step is to open circuit output port. Then we will get I2 equal to 0. If I2 is 0, this term will be 0 and this term will be 0. Therefore, G11 will be equal to I1 divided by V1. I1 divided by V1. G21 it is V2 divided by V1. V2 divided by V1. What is the condition? Condition is I2 should be equal to 0. So, condition is I2 should be equal to 0. Now, we need to find G12. G12 is here. For getting this term, this term should be 0. This term should be 0 means V1 should be 0. For getting V10, we need to short circuit input port. So, second step is to short circuit input port. When we short circuit input port, we will get V1 equal to 0. When V1 is 0, this term will be 0 and this term will be 0. Therefore, G12 will be equal to I1 divided by I2. I1 divided by I2. G22 it is V2 divided by I2 v2 divided by i2 what is the condition condition it is v1 should be equal to 0 v1 should be equal to 0 in the next video we can do a problem based on hybrid and inverse hybrid parameter